let's start with the bandana so the first thing I will do is mix black with a dark brown to get a very dark color for my base coat so I will use this to do my black lining also then I will move to a mid-tone red and a bright red for highlights I will start my highlights. So when doing highlights on fabrics like this, I will highlight the top of the folds and I will try to leave the bottom of the fold very dark to have a nice contrast in the folds. I'm also paying attention to leave a black line between the bandana and the skin of the turtle so it will be easy to understand where the bandana starts This is what looks like the first highlight and then I will use some brighter red to make highlights but I will focus on the front of the bandana.
at this point I mix even more bright red into my mixing to get brighter and brighter highlights until I am happy with the bandana color. And the brighter I go, the smaller I do my highlights. And always trying to hit the top of the folds. This is where the fun start. This is an optional step, but you can mix some off-white in your mix and start making lines like on the wraps all over the mask. That will add a lot of detail. I'm trying to be a lot more precise than what I did on the wrap for the bandana. I want them to be, I want the line to be a lot more regular. So this is the result and I will show you on this side of the, the bandana how to finish the blending of those texture. So I take my dark brown and I will do my shadow back as there's some lines in it. And then I will glaze with my bright red to blend in all the textures. You can see that the glazing will greatly help to blend everything and makes it look like it's a texture on the bandana itself. So I will accelerate the rest of the bandana for the parts that are left, but this is the final result.
Now let's start painting the eyes. So for this, I will use an off-white, a little bit yellowish. If you don't have one, take your normal off-white and add a little drop of yellow in it. first thing to do is actually to base coat the eyes black and then you just do the old thing with your yellowish off-white leaving only a small line on the outside Once it's done, we'll go back to black and we will make the pupils. So this is mostly sketching as you make the outside and you check if everything looks correct. If it's not, it's the time to correct everything. So you can just go back, either start, start it back or correct the lines that you just did. It might take you more than one time to do it. Take your time, it's an important step. Once it's done, you then start doing the inside of the eye. Take your time and make some very nice round circles. There is no secret, if you want to get good at painting eyes, you need to paint a lot of them. And the first one you will do, there will be a lot of corrections to make. So just correct until you are happy. I was a little bit off camera uh, while doing the adjustment of the eyes, but here is the result. It 
And once it's done, we can start adding the color. So normally, for eyes, the dark color is in the upper part and the bottom is a lot brighter. I'm using very thin paint for this. You don't want it to be thick and go over your black. So the more you play with the paint on the wet palette, the more you dilute it. Pretty hard to stay on camera while doing the eyes because they are very small at rear. So I'm going with an even brighter color for the bottom. And then I will add some off-white dots for reflection in the eyes. Here is the final stare. Now let's start the mouth. So I will paint with a yellowish brown and a yellowish off white. I'm base coating all the teeth one by one. I try to keep a black line between. So sorry again if I'm not, I'm not on camera pretty hard to stay. The 
while I do this, you can see that there's a, a spot on the arms, on the wraps. So these will be all corrected in the correction step that I do before the final glazing. I don't go right away to correct all the spots. I do it all at the end when the model is mostly finished. I just go over and I correct every little things that I find. You got the final result for the mouth. So now we have a nice face for that turtle. We are now in the last steps of painting the model. So what is left on the figure itself, the weapons, the nails, and all the touch-ups. And then there's the base left here. I will start with the metallics. So for this, I will use a dark metallic, bright metallic, contrast, black templar, or neural oil, whatever you have. This is what I will use for the handle of the weapons. So, petroleum gray, which is a warm gray, and ivory. I start by base coating everything and then I will add a coat of contrast black templar to get it to get my metallic even darker. base coat is done, now it's time for a coat of contrast black templar. I will let that dry and I will start making my highlights. <clears throat> I will start with my dark color to paint places that should be not reflecting as much, like under the blade here. And 
and I can leave some areas very dark. I will keep my brightest color for the top of the side. see I only painted under I'm taking my brightest color now and I will do the edge highlight on the top like this and I will add some points of light where it's supposed to be reflecting. So you kind of get some non metallic feel a bit out of this. Same thing for the handle, I only work the top of the handle with brightest metallic and I will work under with the darkest one. I can mix a little bit both of my metal like if I want to do some highlights you can see that here could use some highlights so you can mix it to have it a less bright metallic and work the blade so this is what I would keep I will do the glazing with some black and then I will do the other blade. I'm taking some muted black and I'm just glazing to get better shadings. If you want to push it further, you can add a little bit of color. Like this, right. so this is good. I will do the other one and then we'll go to the handle. Okay, let's do the handle. So for the handle, I will use petroleum gray, and I will I'll lighten it with ivory.
lighting. So I mix a little bit less than 50-50. I don't want it too too bright. And I will follow the same highlight patterns as I did. So this is the one. So I will <laughs> highlight here. And I will try to follow the... It's a bit wet, but we can see there's some lines there. I try to keep them. They will be more obvious with the next color. Same here. As the light is coming from the top, the highlights will be following the same as my metallic highlights. I had a bit more of ivory and I will do my final highlights. That would be the result for the side. Here, I will do the other one. I did it the line a little bit. I will correct it. You want to keep those small ones. Depending on how much you want it, you want them bright. You can keep going and just add a very small highlight on the top of the bands here. I was talking that you can actually put more color on the metallics. I think I will add just a little bit of brown. So I'm taking a dark brown. I dilute it to get a glaze.
can I? I'm just adding only a little bit just to get more color on the metallics. So this is a way to have nicer true metallics. This is the exact same way you work non-metallic. So you, you work with the colors like this. And that would be hit for the weapons. So what will be next will be the fingers, the nails in fact, because the fingers are done. And then we will be able to call this done until the final glazing. For the nails, it's pretty simple. So you take a yellowish brown and some lighter color, like this one. So you start by using your dark color. You base coat the nail trying to leave a dark a, a dark line between the nail too. So this piece is quite fragile. You, you need to I will need to glue it like only at the end. I will do only the fingers and the nails on the feet to keep the video shorter. Then you mix 50 50 with your lighter color and you do lines this time. What you, what you want to do is to make a lot of small lines that are not even like this. Try to get a good shot, so you do lines like this. And then you take your light color and you do even finer lines. I will add a final highlight just on the top of the nail.
this. So I will do it everywhere and we will be able to call this done for the moment. We will go to the base after 